bringing you the best news of Britain. I'm Nigel. And I'm Nancy. And this is London News. Try me, Jim Jims. What a beautiful May day we have here in London. It's a brisk 25 degrees outside, and truly, it is a remarkable day. Isn't that right, Nancy? Right, it is, Nigel. Yesterday, May 7th, um, the Soviets moved into Berlin, thus ending World War II. Uh, the streets of London were packed yesterday. Everyone was boozing, people were partying, and all the worries in the world had disappeared. In other news, uh, the economy is tanking, as we all know. And uh, according to recent uh, surveys, uh, we've got the unemployment at around 31%. So the middle class is suffering, and uh, we really need a pick-me-up now. But, Nigel, on the brighter side, uh, the electric tea kettle was invented a week ago, and our production of tea will be increased twofold. We're going to take a quick commercial break, and when we come back, <clears throat> we have an interview scheduled with a grizzled war veteran, of both world wars. You may have met a few people who like doing this sort of thing. They're a nuisance, I agree, but pretty harmless. You have certainly seen thousands like this. They're not a nuisance, they're a real danger. Hi, stop it, you. Stop it, stop it. Come here, what do you think you're up to? You've probably infected thousands of people already. What do you think this is for? Yes, that's all right, but here's another way of using your handkerchief. Now sneeze. Come on. All right, never mind. Close your eyes. Now, handkerchief. Sneeze. <coughs> sneeze, handkerchief. <coughs> Got it? Fine. <coughs> Understand? Handkerchief, sneeze. See what I mean? That's the idea. Fine. Now you can carry on. Well, thanks, Stanley, for uh, taking the time to interview with us. Uh, just... If you could, could you explain to us, uh, to all the Londoners out there, what war's like? Well, Nancy, it was hell out there. These bloody chariots are sitting in their trenches. We need to take the Eastern Front. We're going all in. I snatched two poppies from the parapet's ledge, two bright red poppies that winked on the ledge. Behind my ear I struck one through, one blood red poppy I gave to you. The sandbags narrowed and skewed out our jest, and tore the poppy you had on your breast. Down a shell, O oh Christ! I am choked, safe, dust blind. I see trench floor poppies, strewn, smashed, and lined. All in line, all blind. Gas, gas, quick boys! An ecstasy of fumbling, fitting the clumsy helmets just in time. But someone still is yelling out and stumbling. He plunges at me, guttering, choking, drowning. mile per hour wind, 70% humidity, you're going to have to take in the Coriolis effect. Two mils up, one to the left. Tubs like these remind me of the words of Keith Douglas. Now on my dial of glass appears a soldier who's going to die. He smiles, 
and moves about in ways his mother knows. Habits of his. The wires touch his face. I cry now! Death, like a familiar hears and looks, has made a man of dust of a man of flesh. This sorcery I do, how easy it is to make a ghost. Many houses were demolished by these Nazi knights of the air, as their leader is pleased to call them, and street scenes like this illustrate the tragic story.